right guys, here we are with the interior of the uh, 2012 Cascadia. As you can see, we've got a uh, battery cutoff switch, which is great. Um, if you're gonna park the truck, um, you can shut this off and you can be sure that, you know, nothing's gonna drain your batteries. Um, full controls on the seat, full air ride on the driver and passenger seat. Um, you, can, you can actually adjust the uh, compression or the tension on the uh, shock on these seats. Um, you can go up and down. I mean, it's got lots of uh, lots of features on the seat itself, and the passenger seat is no different. It has full controls on both sides. Um, all right, hi guys, we're back here uh, behind the wheel of this uh, 2012 Cascadia. Uh, just kind of give show you the way the dash setup is. Uh, it's got a pretty decent uh, gauge package. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff you can scroll through on the digital screen, uh, all controlled through the steering wheel. So it'll show us here what our idle hours are, um, outside air temperature, diag diag diagnostics information, engine information, fuel. I mean, you could pretty much figure out anything you want to know about the, the truck from this uh, from this screen here. Got a uh, CD changer, AM FM radio. It's got Jake brake got all the controls right here it's a real nice dash AC and uh, get ready to take it for a ride here 10 speed transmission Eaton Fuller and uh, give them a look at the, uh, at the sleeper it's got a fridge in it ready to go it's got double bunks just a nice clean ready to go to work setup Nice cabinets. This one doesn't have all the little nets everywhere. It's actually got cabinet doors. Hold all your stuff when you're on the road. Nice storage space. All right, guys, so here we are sitting in the uh, sleeper berth of this 2012 Cascadia. Just kind of show you some of the features that it's got that I'm pretty sure these drivers will uh, can appreciate it's got this very nice little uh, slide out table here uh, with a flip up little storage you can keep your log books in there you know your notepads all your all your paperwork and stuff there's another feature that I noticed that it's got uh, it's, it's already set up and it's got a 110 outlet there so you can charge your phone while you're sleeping you can put your stuff right here it's got this nice little cubby hole area so you've got you've got this cabinet down here all right, down here is where the, uh, I think this is the uh, return vent for the uh, for the air conditioner system in the sleeper. So you've got a 12 volt outlet back there. You got 110. Um, this is your controls for your sleeper, temperature, all your lighting in the back, dome lights, footwell. Uh, you got to believe this is a, this is an alarm clock so you don't oversleep. Got a cup holder in here. You got a uh, nice little file holder. You can keep your papers. Now this one does have a double bunk. It's got a lot of storage underneath the bed. We'll flip that up and kind of give you a look. So you got lots of storage space down there. You know, you've got the slide out table. You've got your fridge got your uh, boot cabinet down here you keep your your boots in shoes um, you've got the top bunk it's got lots of lighting it's a real nice truck and uh, we're, we're getting ready to take off here and take you guys for a quick ride and uh, you can get an idea of how smooth this truck drives <laughs> 